Well, you know what I got out of this was the acclaimed came out and they were massively over. Mm -hmm. And then they did their match and they decisively won. And then they did their scissoring thing and they were massively over. And I was like, why aren't they the tag team champions still? Why did they lose these titles? Don't know. Fair, fair and, question. And, you know, I, the, you know, people are, I think it was actually, I don't know if it was, I don't know if Dave used these exact words, but I've heard other people say it, it was like, well, you know, they, uh, you know, they, they'd done all they could and we needed to. What? I was like, done all they could. There's 8 million teams here. And like. It's not like it went on too long. What, they won it in September? I mean, dude, Roman Reigns has been champion for 900 fucking days or whatever, okay? Which, by the way, the other one is, well, you know, they don't need the belts because they're already over. <sighs> it's like, well, fuck, you know who's already over is MJF. You know who's already over is Roman Reigns. You know who's already over is every fucking champion. Like, you could make that argument for any champion. They don't need the belt. They're already over. You think Roman Reigns needs the titles to be fucking over? No. So, like, I watched this, and I thought, are the guns any more over since they won the tag team titles? I don't the think they're no. any more over. They're exactly the same. Right? I, yeah. I mean, they're featured more because they're the champions. But are they any more over than they were before? No. No. So, like, what was the point of taking the belts off the acclaim? Yes, I realize that, that uh, you know, FTR got beaten by the guns before they left. That doesn't mean they have to come back and beat the guns for the tag team titles. FTR was beaten by acclaimed as well. Why can't they come back and beat the acclaimed for the tag team titles? I don't understand why you took the titles off the acclaimed. They're so over. Like, shouldn't your tag team champions be the most over tag team? That'd be nice. Should be. That'd be nice. I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, they were over. Rap was great. And that was a show. I, I, just, I was blown away. They had the match. They went for like three minutes. They went to commercial break. And they came back with literally four minutes to go with them. So... A majority of the match was, took place during the commercial. And this was your main event. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low-key at first. Like, ah, bah, bah, bah. But he keeps going. He claps. I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.